Jessica Schur. I'm here with Her Flicks at New York Women in Film and TV's Muse Awards 2013. These awards honor outstanding achievement of women in the entertainment industries. This year's honorees include actors Ellen Barkin, Connie Britton, Robin Wright, and Sonia Manzano, and Frances Berwick, president of Bravo and Oxygen Media. The Laureen Arbus Award for those who take action and effect change goes to award-winning producer, actor, and activist Nancy Malone. This year's hosts are TV personalities Wendy Williams and Andy Cohen. And now let's go to the red carpet. You are a Tony award-winning actress. I got to see you in Normal Heart. You were fantastic. Uh, you. Yeah, and being a character actor, what is it that you look for in, um, in your characters? Oh, uh, I'll talk about that a little later. Um, I, um, I, I, I... Woody Guthrie has a great quote, and it is, I, I, I never want to write a song that makes people feel badly about themselves, and um, I never wanted to play a character that makes women feel badly about themselves. And I think the entertainment industry in this country is very much geared towards making us all feel badly about ourselves. And very early on in my career, I thought maybe there was something else I could bring to the conversation more than the work I did. And it, it was informed by, more by the jobs I didn't do than the jobs I did do. And I just never wanted to play a part that was enviable in any way. Well, that's what I love about your work, is that you do, you try, and that you are very specific about the choices you make, which is important as actors. You can't just take anything. You've got to say no sometimes. You've got to say yes sometimes. Well, you know, being an actor, especially a young actor starting out, um, is uh, oftentimes does not feel very powerful. And I was taught by one of my very early mentors that one of the great powers you always have is the power to say no after you get to a point where you can support yourself and take care of yourself. And I, I took it to heart, and it's been in the forefront of my choices for over 30 years. If you could do anything tomorrow and know you're not going to fail, what would it be? Write a novel. Oh, I love that. Well, and here you are being um, awarded here at the Muse Awards. How does that feel to be, you know, recognized by your peers? Incredible. It feels great. I'm a New Yorker, so it's it really is my my community and my colleagues, and it does feel very special. Well, young lady from the South Bronx, you look fantastic. You so she cleans up well. Thank, thank you so much thank for your you. time. Here we are in New York. Uh, you're doing extremely well. You've made a bunch of iconic films, and now you're being honored by uh, Women in Film, which is kind of amazing. How does that feel to be? amongst your peers. I feel like a real blessing to be included yeah. with all the girls. It's the girls club. Yeah. You know, and if you could be you could do something tomorrow that you know you would not fail, what would you do? I would probably um, become the African envoy on ground in Congo, which is the organization that I work for. Well, that's excellent. The Congolese women. Yeah, that sounds very exciting. Well, thanks so much for your time. Question, a girl from the South Bronx, you clean up quite well. <laughs> right? She does. She looks fantastic. I'm so flattered to be in the company that I am with these wonderful actors and producers that have done so much work as well. Now, you, you've been on Sesame Street for over 45 years. Yes, I know. Now, did you ever think as a young girl that perhaps you would be working on a show that has 13 Emmys? No, I never thought anything was going to last this long. As you know, we're a society that likes disposable things. So for a show to last this long on television is really remarkable. And let's say tomorrow you could do anything you wanted and know you wouldn't fail. What would you do? I would write that award-winning screenplay. That's what I would do. And I bet you have it up your sleeve. I have it up my sleeve. You do. <laughs> and how does it feel to be here? Um, let's see, you, you were inducted into the Bronx Hall of Fame recently. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yes, that's a, that's a real special honor to me because I am from the Bronx. Uh, so here I, I'm living in two worlds, the Bronx world and the, the, the la di da world here of New York Women in Film and Television. Yeah, it is a contrast, right? Yeah. You know, but it is kind of awesome to be inducted into the world of women because yes. there's some pretty powerful women and that's you. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. So now yeah. you are from where originally? Uh, just outside London. And uh, now you're here. 
in yes. New York. Yes. Yes. I came uh, for 18 months, and I've been here 18 years. And so you are the just... president of Oxygen Network. And, and Bravo. Bravo, which is kind of an amazing thing. And in the last three years, you guys have soared. You're one of the top ten networks. What, thinks that's, what do you think sets you guys apart? I think we have, well, with Bravo, it's about a very, very specific audience that we appeal to. Um, and it's all about our shows. People really connect with the characters in the shows, whether they're housewives or house flippers or stylists. And there's an aspirational quality to what they do and, and how they live their lives. So I think it's yeah. that. Would you say that your audience might be educated? They might be interesting. They, they seem to be a different kind of crowd. They are a very different kind of crowd. It's it's a very educated, very upscale audience, and I think that we try and put people on the screen who they can relate to and identify with, and you know who who live in those worlds, who live in these sort of like fantastic houses and. Right. Dreams may come. Yes, Let's exactly. See, what are the, uh, your top values? Oh, I think fairness and belief in fun and respect for people and um, creativity, I think, yeah. is really sort of yeah. high up there. But I think fairness would be at, at the top of the list. That's good when you're, when you're, when you're in your position, to be fair. <laughs> to be fair. Yes. And if you Try could do anything fair. tomorrow and you knew you were not going to fail, what would it be? Oh, um, aside from world peace and, and balancing the budget. <laughs> yes. uh, a couple of lofty things. Um, I think, you know, Bravo and Oxygen are going to soar still and really sort of appeal to. With, with Oxygen, we're catering to a young woman, a millennial woman, and I think that network is going to take off next year. So. That gave me the chills. That oh. did. How does Thank it you. feel to be here being awarded on a Muse Award? How does that feel to be amongst your peers? Women as well. <laughs> it feels fantastic and a little daunting. And, you know, I'd sort of never thought of myself that way. And it makes you kind of reflect on what you've done. Um, but it's, it's really a fantastic honor. Well, we congratulate you because you certainly deserve the honor. Thank so, you very much. Thank you. You're from Boston, raised in Virginia. Virginia. You're here in New York doing absolutely amazing on Nashville, singing, acting, doing your thing. Did you ever think as a little girl you'd be here? I could never have imagined, and yet I, there must have been some part of me that um, just always held it, held it as a dream because, you know, being an actor, I never imagined that I could actually do the things that I've been doing, you know, uh, when I was a little girl growing up in Virginia, but it was what I always wanted to do. So um, I'm one of the incredibly fortunate people who has actually been able to manifest the things that I've been that I dreamed about when I was a little girl. Yeah, well, dream big, big dreams, as I like to say. Why not? Yeah. Uh, now, we're here at the Muse Awards. You're being awarded. How does that feel to be, uh, you know, known and seen by your colleagues? Humbling, really. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know... This, and from this organization in particular, which is such an important organization for women and women in New York, um, to have them acknowledge the work that I've been doing is really, I'm, I'm sort of, I, I sort of I don't even know what to say, you know, it's really, it's really moving to me. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm, I'm coming here to support all these amazing women today. Uh, Connie Britton is, is one of my very best friends for many, many years, and uh, she's being honored, so I've come to support her, and also Robin Wright is also a dear friend and, and, a, and an actress who I've loved for so, so long. Um, and so just, you know, really coming to cheer these lovely ladies on and you've got to get dressed up for the ladies. Oh, this is my favorite part is when we put on the outfits and all that jazz. I try. It's, it's always about the hat. It's a good hat. I, I, I generally wear hats too. I didn't today, but. That's okay, because I'm sure I'll see you again. You'll be wearing a fabulous hat. Well, thanks so much for your time. And I'm first wondering, you guys have been here, um, you know, to, to kind of, uh, to, to get excited about these honorees. What does that mean to be supporting women? Everything. You know, uh, as a woman, I want other women to support me. And, uh, you know, these women in this room are great, powerful, and almighty. Yeah, and you are too. You're a mother, you're a movie mogul, you're a writer, you do the Wendy Williams show. I mean, you are busy. And from what I know, 2017, your show is running through. Yes, yes. Yay. We're in our fifth season now. The show is doing really great. Yeah, and uh, what makes it sparkle? Me. Of course it does. <laughs> I see. She's all glam. She's brilliant. And this, my dear sir, how do you get 2 million Twitter followers every day? Do you know you have 2, mi two million people following you? Uh, I don't, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy. I love to tweet. Well, why not? You are one of the top 100 uh, creatives in this world. Wow. Well, thank you. I, I didn't know that. Cagney and Lacey are here. I can't believe it. Oh, all right. All right. Well, thanks so much.